It's Not Hansel and Gretel by Josh Funk. Once upon a time, Hansel and Gretel lived with their mama and papa on the outskirts of the woods. Hansel, Gretel, where are you? Shh, we're playing hide and seek with cousin Jack. Jack, the Jack from Jack and the Beanstalk? Get out of here, this isn't your story. Pfft, whatever. It was a time of great famine and there wasn't enough food. Hansel and Gretel's parents hatched an evil plan to get rid of their children. Gretel, should we be worried? Nah, our parents love us. No children, you should be worried. That afternoon, Papa took the children deep into the forest. Should we be worried now? Yes, your parents want to get rid of you. No, Hansel, this is just our regular Thursday afternoon walk. When the sky grew dark, Papa ran off without a word. Hansel and Gretel grew cold and hungry. Gretel, I'm cold and hungry. Don't fret, Hansel. I'm sure Papa will be right back with blankets and food. You're right. Our parents love us. Oh, brother. Luckily, Hansel had left a trail of breadcrumbs leading back home. Breadcrumbs? I didn't bring any breadcrumbs. What kind of person saves breadcrumbs? It's a time of great famine. If there are breadcrumbs left, we eat them. Okay, forget the breadcrumbs. Now I'm hungry. Why'd you have to bring up breadcrumbs? The next morning, Hansel and Gretel were completely lost. They began searching for a way back home, but couldn't. Look, there's our house. What? Yay, we found it. No, you can't find it. That's not how the story goes. Excuse me, but we've lived on the outskirts of these woods our whole lives. I think we know our way around. Mama, Papa, we're home. Gretel, where are Mama and Papa? Maybe Papa got lost on the way home to get blankets and food. He does have a terrible sense of direction. No, he didn't get lost. But where's Mama? She's not in her workshop. She's probably out searching for us. She's not searching for you. It was their evil plot to get rid of you. <laughs> Look what you did. You made Hansel cry. I, I didn't mean to do that. Don't worry, Hansel. We can find Mama and Papa ourselves. Sniff. Okay. Wait, you can't leave without me. I'm the one telling the story. Hansel and Gretel trekked deeper and deeper into the, excuse me, but why is it always Hansel and Gretel? What do you mean? Why isn't it ever Gretel and Hansel? Um, that's just how it's always been. Just because it's always been that way doesn't make it right. Plus, alphabetically, Gretel comes first. Okay, okay, how's this? Gretel and Hansel trekked deeper and deeper into the woods. Much better. Until they came upon... 
a gingerbread huh? a super tasty cookie house no it's a gingerbread house and outside of the house stood oh look a sweet old lady would you two stop interrupting me Come inside from the cold, little dearies. I can put you in my oven to warm you up. No, you offer them some food. Oh, but it's so cold. I could use a little oven time. No oven time. The old lady was really a witch who liked to eat children. Don't be silly. She's a sweet old lady. I promise you she's a witch. I don't really have any magical powers, so I'm not exactly a witch. See, I told you she's not a witch. Why won't you children believe anything I tell you? Stop yelling. Do you want to make Hansel cry again? The witch, who was not a sweet old lady, locked Hansel in a cage and forced him to eat candy and treats to fatten him up. Yay, candy! I want to be put in the candy cage. Can I go in the candy cage? No, you can't. Gretel was forced to do chores around the house. This is ridiculous. The boy gets to sit around and eat candy while the girl has to cook and clean. Get with the times. This is the 15th century. Ugh, fine. Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> I mean, Gretel and Hansel were locked in a cage and forced to eat candy. But who's going to clean my toilet? The witch could see that it would be weeks before the children became fat and puffy enough to eat. So, he looks puffy enough to me. Puffy? Oh no! Was that strawberry shortcake? Hansel's allergic to strawberries! Blub, blub, blub. That is not part of the story. He is not allergic to strawberries. Excuse me, Dr. Storyteller, but food allergies are not a joke. They can be very serious. Luckily, Hansel is only mildly allergic to strawberries. I'd better start the oven. No, it's too soon in the story. Even though it was far too soon, the witch prepared the oven. I think I am okay. Double, double, toil and trouble. I can't hear you over that noisy oven. Did you say toilet trouble? Ugh, I thought you didn't want to do chores, Gretel. I don't, but who can say no to such a nice old lady? She's a witch, I promise. Hmm, if I borrow some beans from the giant, I can make a little boy chilly. Oh, are you chilly? Do you need some oven time? Here, I'll help you. Ah! Gretel, I found this book. 50 recipes for cooking children? You know, something tells me she wasn't such a nice lady after all. Yes. That was me. I was telling you that. No need to get your undies in a twist. If you two won't listen to me, you might as well tell the story yourselves. Ooh, can we do that? Let's try it. Wait, I didn't mean... Hansel grew a mustache. I've always wanted a mustache. Me too. I want a mustache. This is ridiculous. Gretel grew a mustache too. Now you try. Gretel and Hansel met a unicorn named Fluffy Bottom. Oh, come on. A unicorn? Next, you're going to tell me that Fluffy Bottom flew you home to your parents and you all lived happily ever after. Unicorns can't fly. Everyone knows that. Look, Gretel, it's Mama and Papa. I'm so sorry, children. I got lost on the way home to get blankets and food. You know I have a terrible sense of direction. What? No, you had an evil plot. 
And I built this flying contraption to go searching for you. That's exactly what I thought. This is all wrong. You know, if you take out the child ingredient, these recipes aren't half bad. Maybe we could live here and open a bakery. Yes, let's do it! And we all lived happily ever after. Ahem. He said, and we all lived happily ever after. I suppose you want me to say the end? Thank you! Wait, no, I didn't mean to say the end. You only need to say it once. Next! We'd like to buy something for our grandmother.